Hi, my name is Given Mashavane. And I'm Andres Mashavane. We are from Pendridge Shalamuka Science Center. Today, we are going to be doing a practical experiment on acid and bases, where we are going to be using household substances to test whether they are acidic or basic using a litmus paper. The apparatus that we are going to be using for this experiment are a beaker, red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, and a tile. The household substances are lemon juice, water, milk, coffee, baking soda, sugar, salt, vinegar, and tea. So, um, uh, Andres, uh, what are we expecting to see? Uh, we are going to use a red litmus paper and a blue litmus paper to test each solution. Now, we are expecting to see the red litmus paper to remain the same in an acidic solution and the blue litmus paper to change red in an acidic solution. And the red litmus paper to change blue in a basic solution and the blue litmus paper to remain the same in a basic solution. So, in a situation where the red litmus paper and the blue litmus paper doesn't change, is it possible? Yes, it's possible. That simply means that the solution is neutral. One example of a neutral solution is water, which is neither basic or acidic. You expect a blue litmus paper to change red in an acidic solution and a red litmus paper to remain. And if both litmus papers don't change, it means that that solution is neutral. Okay, let's put it into test now. Let's start with the lemon juice. Um, let's test the blue litmus paper first. Okay, you see a color change there, change to red. Let's check, test the red litmus paper. Doesn't change. Let's move to water. As you gave an example of water, let's see. Blue. Okay, no color change. Check the red. No color change there. Now let's check milk. Now, yeah, let's give it time to see if there will be a color change, but it's showing us that it's a little bit acidic. It changes to purple. Yes. And then the red. Oh, it remains. Coffee. Coffee is a little bit acidic. Check the red litmus paper. Again. Now let's check bicarbonate of soda. A little bit acidic. Yeah, not much convincing sugar. No color change there. And the blue litmus paper, let's check the red. No color change there. Now let's go to salt.
color change no color change let's check the red okay let's go to vinica can clearly see a color change there and then using the red one no color change at all lastly we have a T color change Andres slightly slightly a bit purple Red litmus paper. No color change there. So, what can we conclude about the substances that we have used in this practical? You can see that on lemon juice, the blue litmus paper turned into red, and the red litmus paper remains the same, which means that lemon juice is acidic. Water is neutral because the blue litmus paper and the red litmus paper did not change color. Milk is slightly acidic because the blue litmus paper changed color into paper, not red, but the red litmus paper remains the same. Coffee is also acidic. The blue litmus paper changed into red. The red did not change. And baking soda is basic because the blue litmus paper did not change but the red litmus paper changed into blue. Sugar is neutral because the blue and red litmus paper did not change. And salt is neutral because we used table salt which is sodium chloride. It's a neutral salt. Vinegar is acidic because the blue litmus paper changed into red and the red did not change. Tea is acidic because the blue litmus paper changed into red and the red litmus paper did not change. For more videos, visit us on our website www.penrich.co.za or you can follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.